Hi, brothers and sisters. I just want to talk to you about a few things. I hope that you're well and that everything is going the way that the Lord has planned for you. When I bring you messages that fall into my spirit from Jesus Christ, they're messages of truth that I want you to discern with the Lord, and they're not meant to tickle your ears or scare you. Today's message has to do with the fact that something is seriously wrong out there. The Most High has told me tonight that the wars and the rumors of wars and the tensions globally have increased. That Israel is in a lot of trouble that they're not talking about in the public eye. That there are insurgents of ISIS and other enemy of Israel within Jerusalem. And that the division of Israel is being planned as we speak and it's not in the public eye. The persecutions of brothers and sisters in Christ are increasing significantly. And as I told you in a prior video, the decision with making the abomination of gay marriage legal in all 50 states is a major stepping stone to increase Christian persecution. That the government is turning its back on Christians being slaughtered and how this nation has turned its back on Jesus Christ who is God. Jesus told me his anger is growing and growing and that he's coming to wage a righteous war. And he told me tonight to warn his people to be ready that when the time comes, he will prepare you and tell you what you need to do. Jesus Christ is at the door. No, I know no man knows the day nor the hour, but this is the wicked last generation that Jesus Christ has prophesied to his disciples. I believe it's in the book of Matthew or Luke when they asked them for the signs of things to come. The Most High did say of pestilence and war and rumors of war and there will be famine, false Christ and false prophets will arise in large numbers. Many will claim to be Christ or they'll say there is a Christ but don't listen. Test the spirits. That there will be pestilence, famine, signs in the heaven. The heavens will be shaken, so will the earth. The Lord told me that he's slowing the rotation of the planet. If you Google yourself, there's a major article in mainstream media news how the planet's rotation is slowing down and that has to do with the Lord shortening the days for his elect's sake. The nights are supposed to get longer. It also ties in with the spiritual realms breaking down. Brothers and sisters, this is not good. Things out there are not good. Sin is abound. Wickedness is abound. It's everywhere. It's so much worse than Sodom and Gomorrah or as in the days of Noah. Please. I need you to go into your prayer closet. Confess every hidden sin every known sin and ask the Lord to help you go through correction so that the sins can be washed away with the blood of the Lamb. That's how you do true repentance. Forgive others. Forgive yourself if you expect the Most High God to forgive you. I feel in my spirit that the Lord is so near and other brothers and sisters in Christ feel it too. I get emails so many brothers and sisters in Christ are having dreams. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the United States is barely hanging on. The Lord is tearing this country apart from the inside out. And he's using Obama to do it. And he's going to send an army from the north to finish the United States off. And the other nations that rebel against God will face his wrath as well. Please. Don't put your soul at risk because every soul is important to God, to heaven, to the body of Christ. Every soul matters. Every soul is returned to God when the soul's journey is complete in this life for every life is a season. Heaven rejoices when a soul is one. Heaven grieves when a soul is lost. Please, get your house in order because time is running out. There's not much time left. And in my opinion, the time that we're, we have is borrowed time at best.